Hey guys, welcome to another video for the Poco X3 Pro, also known as YU and Vima. Now today we are talking about Fluid OS 2.0 official that is based on Android 12. I flashed this yesterday and since then I've been playing around with it. This is the initial impressions and you'd be glad to know what all I have to say. But before we get into the details, if you are new here, if you like seeing custom ROM content like this every single day, please subscribe and hit that notification bell icon because it doesn't cost you anything and it helps the channel. And apart from this, if you like chatting with like-minded people who have similar devices, please join us on Telegram. We have more than a thousand of those over there. And last but not the least, if you think the hard work is worth the effort, please click on the join button and support the channel. Now, without further ado, hello awesome people. Welcome to PhoneOps. My name is Kalash. Let's get going. <laughs> All right, so what do we have here? Fluid official ROM based on Android 12 or Android S, and this is updated on the 16th of October, 2021. This is the initial build. SE Linux status is enforcing. Clean flash is recommended. Please use Flame G apps for now. That's all that they have to say. Now, this is a Android 12 based ROMs, and we have a lot of those coming up these days. So as you can see over here, you do have all the works of Android 12 that are available. So the moment you boot into this ROM, you will see that this is a very, very basic and smooth Android 12 ROM. And to the left, of course, you have your, as you can see, to the left, of course, you have your Google feed, which works like a charm. If you go to settings and say, if you go to display, you do have the smooth display option enabled. The first thing that I would like to share about this Fluid ROM is that the refresh rate, the adaptive refresh rate is not that consistent because I have seen some or the other stutters here and there. For example, if you actually see, right now it's smooth, sometimes it will give you some trouble. So the moment you boot into this ROM, you don't really have a lot of applications, but one good thing here is it comes with Google Camera Go and uh, yeah, it clicks decent enough pictures. It doesn't really make a huge difference when it comes to the camera quality, but it is better than having nothing. So if you actually go to settings over here, now see, I this is probably the second ROM on the POCO X3 Pro on which if I open settings from these quick tiles over here, sometimes it is smooth, most of the times it is stuttery. See, it was stuttery there once again. So if you actually go to the Android version, this is Android 12. And if you enable the Android 12 Easter egg, there you have it. It says fluid version version 2 with the October security patch. The kernel supplied is a mochi kernel. Most of the Android 12 ROMs, in fact, almost all of the Android 12 ROMs these days don't really have any customization because they are still building the base and then they will get into customization. So if you go to gestures over here, you don't really have any customization. And if you go to say battery, you do have thermal profiles over here. So I have gone ahead and set the thermal profiles for different applications as per their need, but I don't see a gaming mode over here. Say for example, if you go ahead and open Call of Duty Mobile, let's allow this, let's minimize this. There you go. You don't see the gaming mode anywhere. So that is something really, really missing out there. So you do have thermal profiles, you have a battery manager, you have your battery percentage and all the other options. If you talk about the battery usage over here, right? As you can see, the phone has been idle for a very long time and it's still at 70%. The fast charging on the 33 watt charger is working absolutely okay. The calling, the you know Wi-Fi connectivity, the internet connectivity, all of those features are present. So I've not really had any major, major issues as far as the Fluid ROM is concerned. But take this with a pinch of salt because these are initial builds and you will have some you know bugs here and there maybe the gaming might not be the best and that's not there's not much that i have to say about this particular rom because it doesn't really have a lot of new features and stuff like that even in display for that matter you have this smooth display option but if you actually have a look at the ufo test you will see that it is yeah it is sort of not going above 100 fps most of the time so yeah give it a couple of builds more and it should be better so let's quickly have a look at the cpu throttle test over here now, as you can see over here, CPU throttled to 91% of its max performance and the average performance has been 195.909 GIPS. So the CPU throttle test score is pretty decent. I've not had any complaints there. If you go ahead and talk about Geekbench real quick, you have 767 single core and 2533 multi-core. This is sort of less. 
So all in all, you know, Fluid ROM or Fluid OS based on Android 12 is going in the right direction. I would not recommend you to give it a try. I have tried it for you guys and it is not ready to be a daily driver yet. Sooner or later, it will be much better with a, you know, different smoothness, better adaptive refresh rate and more customization options. Let me know in the comment section, what do you think about this Fluid OS? Until the next one, this is Kalash signing off at PhoneOps. Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.